Modern Physics, Wikipedia Article Audio Modern Physics is the post-Newtonian conception of physics. It implies that classical descriptions of phenomena are lacking, and that an accurate, modern, description of nature requires theories to incorporate elements of quantum mechanics or Einsteinian relativity, or both. In general, the term is used to refer to any branch of physics either developed in the early 20th century and onwards, or branches greatly influenced by early 20th century physics. Overview Hallmarks Small velocities and large distances is usually the realm of classical physics. Modern physics, however, often involves extreme conditions quantum effects typically involve distances comparable to atoms, while relativistic effects typically involve velocities comparable to the speed of light. In general, quantum and relativistic effects exist across all scales, although these effects can be very small in everyday life. In a literal sense, the term modern physics, means up-to-date physics. In this sense, a significant portion of so-called classical physics is modern. However, since roughly 1890, new discoveries have caused significant paradigm shifts, the advent of quantum mechanics and of Einsteinian relativity. Physics that incorporates elements of either QM or ER is said to be modern physics. It is in this latter sense that the term is generally used. Modern physics is often encountered when dealing with extreme conditions. Quantum mechanical effects tend to appear when dealing with lows, while relativistic effects tend to appear when dealing with highs, the middles being classical behavior. For example, when analyzing the behavior of a gas at room temperature, most phenomena will involve the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. However near absolute zero, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution fails to account for the observed behavior of the gas, and the Fermi-Dirac or Bose-Einstein distributions have to be used instead. German physicist Albert Einstein, founder of the theory of relativity. German physicist Max Planck, Founder of Quantum Theory Very often, it is possible to find or retrieve the classical behavior from the modern description by analyzing the modern description at low speeds and large distances. When doing so, the result is called the classical limit. These are generally considered to be the topics regarded as the core of the foundation of modern physics. <laughs>